Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is March 13th, 2023. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the Day and for L. Ron Hubbard Day. Many people know him as a pulp fiction writer, especially of science fiction, but also detective stories and westerns. Uh, and then even more people probably know him for his successful attempt to found his own religion, which is the Church of Scientology. And I've actually been to a Church of Scientology and been through the entire service and uh, spoken with a lot of people afterward. And I have to say that everyone has their own right to their own belief system. So for all of you who are Scientologists, fine with me. Now, on to Wordle and Quirtle, and for my inspiration for today, I'm going to use the word cults. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's me. I just have to be a bit goofy about all of this. Well, it only got me an L, but I still think it was worth it for the joke. All right, let's see. We are going to start with maybe an L, but we're going to look at some of the other letters that might be in here. R, S, T, L, N, E. And then we've got other vowels we can look at. A, um, I, O. We've already tried U. We've got the E down here, maybe a Y. Hmm. What could we do? We could do the word learn. L E A R N. I like that. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff from that. <sighs> okay, so we have an A here. Well, let's take out this stuff so it's not in our way. Ah, hello. We've got an A here, and then we've got an L, and we've really narrowed it down here, here, or here. And then we've got an E, maybe here, maybe here, but I'm thinking here. So we could do an A-L-E, but I kind of like the L in this position. A-E I don't like. E something A, we've had that recently. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what could what we could do if we do an E here and an L here, because that looks like a very common construction. So what would be the first letter? What would blend? Well, we could have a vowel, but I'm going to look for a consonant blend here. W, Q, Y, I, O. I will kind of look a little bit. P, pl, hmm. I don't see anything. D, no, F. Ooh, it could be flame. Right? Um, F, L, flake. It could be flake. Yeah, that's all I can see for the F. G, L, it could be glade. It could be, that's all I see there. Um, H, L, no, J, K, probably not, Z, X, V, B. It could be blade. It could be blame. Okay, and then ML, no. Let's look at what we can do to maybe narrow things down. So we've got two that start with F, one that starts with G, and two that start with B. So I would like to examine using maybe a B and an F. Uh, and now we've got two that have an M. 
and two that have a D, right, as the second. Um, so the B has, I know this is kind of crazy the way I'm looking at this. I'm trying to do it logically. Um, we set the F, and the F has an, a K or an M. And we said B to start, maybe, and the B has an M and a D. So the M is what is common. So what letter, what word has F, M, B in it? Or if we did flake and it weren't flake, and this is all, always assuming that the L goes there and the E goes there, we might learn something different just feels like the right construction to me. So let's say we did the word flake and it wasn't flake and it didn't have an F or a K. Well, then it could be this one, this one, or this one. If it had an F but not a K, it would be flame, I think. If it had an M but not an F, it would be blame. So there's, I think, too much give here. Now, if we did flame, I think we would come up with the same thing as flake. What if we did glade? If it were glade, perfect. If it weren't, uh, and there was a G here, I don't, I don't know what else that could be. Uh, so that's probably not a good choice. If we did blade and it weren't a B, we would know, I'm sorry, a G. No, if we did glade and it weren't a G, we would know it would be blade. So that gives us a little bit of information. Now, if we try the word blade and it's not it and there's a B, we know it's going to be blame. If it's, if there's an M, we know it's going to be flame. So that looks like a pretty good thing. Because that gives us the G and the F. And then for blame, if we do blame and it's not a B, we can guess that it's flame. If we do it and there's an M here, wait, and there's a B here, blade, and then that's nothing. I like this one. I think this gives us the most information out of all of them. Do I think it's it? No, because even if I've got this right, it's only a one in five chance. But I think it will help me to determine what word it is. And it could be blade. So let's try it. Blame. It's blame. Huh. Good word for today. All right, that was a lot of stuff, I know, but I think that it's important to look at these logically sometimes and give ourselves the best shot at getting it done. I'm sure that some of you got it done well before four tries, but I had fun with this process. I'm going to pause. I'll be right back with our quartal of the day. Okay, so let's see what we can do with our words. Fishy, budge, clown, tramp. Ooh. Drove. I think this is drove. Can't be droke, droves, drokes. I think it's drove. Uh, could it be anything with a D here and something else there? Oh, it could be erode. I'm going to hold off on that for just a bit. This could be erode or drove. Wow, it's so hard to write with my mouse. Okay, let's take a look at this. I think this one's going to be Paul. No, it can't be Polly. Um, an L doesn't go there. Oh, it could be Loopy. L O O P Y. That looks like a good option. If not P O O L Y, Pooley, I don't think so. I think I'm going to try Loopy here. I'm more confident in loopy than I am in drove. All right, C-H-O, right? Chalk, C-H-O-C-K, because we have to figure out something here. 
and I don't know what else it would be. C H O O maybe. Um, no, I think it's chalk. We don't have a lot of help on these. There we go. We got chalk. What in the world is this? Since we know this could be two different things, right? E could go there. R O D could go there. E could go there. Or D could go there. R O V could go there. We haven't tried the V. I'm going to try to figure out what this is and maybe this will help me here. I don't have much here, but that means that uh, maybe I've narrowed things down. So let's take a look. The M could go here, 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 or here. The I could go here, 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 or here. Wow, we don't have anything narrowed down. A, whoa, that was a bad A. A, 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 A. My <laughs> writing is so bad today. Okay, and then we have to look. I'm hoping that maybe there's a V. There could be a J. We don't have a U, so probably not a Q, but maybe a Z or an X or duplicate letters. Um, huh, what in the world? We've got two choices in this column and two choices in this column. So if I do, let's say, an M here, then there's not going to be an M here or here, right? So there could be an I in Oh, no. In me as nothing. Let's put this in. Uh, in me, and then the, an A would be there. Could we put anything there? No. So I don't think that it's going to be an M here. Let's backtrack everything. So I think it's going to be an A here or something undiscovered. Oh, no, it can't be axiom because we don't have an O. So if there's an A here, then there's probably not an A here. There could be an M. Um, Maxim, I think it's Maxim, M-A-X-I-M, -M. Maxim. That works. An M here, an A here, an X we haven't tried yet, an I, an M. Let's try it. Ah, good. I figured if we got any word out of all of that, it was probably going to be good. We still haven't narrowed this down. I'm going to do drove, which was my first choice. And then if not, I'll do erode. It's erode. Right? Yes. Okay, that's it for me. All nine tries, but I got it done. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to criticize me for uh, my inference about Scientology, feel free to put those comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.